Creativity is an addiction. I love to create. I also am bothered by creativity. And the reason why is because it wants to be fed all the time. It wants to be doing something all the time. It wants to be on that stage. It, it just has to be alive. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I'm what you call a stream thinker. Not exactly one of the easiest things to do. It's not improv. It's not ad lib. It's stream thinking. It's using the universe and the energy with it as a tool, as a way of making a connection beyond this place, these four walls. Learning how to do this requires exercise. You can exercise great. You can exercise bad. You'll figure it out as you continue to make mistakes and break things as well as replenish and replant things as well. Now, how do you do this? Okay. Learning how to trust your free form writing. Really, it's one page a day. You give yourself 10 minutes, just 10 minutes to write. Absolutely no editing. Leave the perfectionist somewhere else. It gives you plenty of time to talk about it in the end. It's being with the power of now. I do believe that our best decisions are made right now. Own your own leadership. This is Stream Thinking. Today, we're reading from March 20th, 2022. The physical date is April 18th, 2022. And you might you might ask, so, so dude, what gives? Why can't you just do this on the spot? I like doing a thing called fermenting. You write something out. Because remember, I give myself 10 minutes to write this out. I, I write it out. I put it away. I don't reread it. I just put it away. So when you ferment it, you come back and you have different emotions because your interpretation of what was written on that particular day are completely disconnected from that day. It's a new walk and way. And, and really, honestly, uh, almost an entire month has gone by. So I have no clue as to what we're even going to talk about today. So March 20th, 2022, what is a voice in this modern day and age? We all have one. But which do you believe? Does it have to require pictures to back up the claim? Okay, here's the example. CNN on this day, March 20th, 2022, was displaying a news story. Their voice, right? In Russia. The leader, Putin, sharing a speech. I mean, a huge speech. A message in this gigantic stadium overflowing with bright, happy people with positive banners. And then CNN does an outside shot of the arena, and there are thousands of people who didn't get into the arena. CNN The Voice, not saying once that it could have been a great special effects moment, but yet, was it? Nor did CNN disagree with Putin's approach of Nazis in Ukraine, and all he wants to do is protect his people and history. You can't help but wonder, what is the truth? Well, here, here's the truth. The pictures of Ukraine... The hospitals blown to nothingness. Innocent lives replanted in other nations. Why did the news network elect to create confusion? The better story wasn't Putin's speech. I don't know about you, but I would like to hear from the people. Inside your own mind, you might be thinking, dude, you're no different than CNN. You just gave us a bunch of words about this particular speech that Putin was giving we didn't see it. Somehow, some way, I fell into it, and, and I didn't know how to handle the situation, so I wrote about it, using free-form thinking and free-form writing, stream thinking, to be able to put the exact emotions of what was going on that particular day, which was March 20th, to try to figure out if it creates emotion almost a month later. And you know, I do feel the same way as I did that particular day, because I didn't understand, as a viewer of the network, how this was even happening. I have never in my entire life ever seen a huge, huge rally such as that. And then to have thousands of people on the outside that were supporting, but nobody was questioning this situation. Was it special effects? To this day, I've, I've not found anything. To this day, I still sit in question. And I wonder what the generations 25, 50 years from now will think. Or will this video even exist? But these words will. Until I'm censored. I'm Arrow, and that's Stream Thinking.